Did you know that the vibrant red of a rose or the soothing blue of the sky isn't actually in those objects? Yes, you heard it right. Color isn't an inherent property of the objects we see around us. Instead, it's all about light, wavelengths, and our own perception. When light bounces off an object and hits our eyes, we interpret different wavelengths as different colors. So, essentially, colors are the way our eyes interpret the dance of light. So, when we talk about colors, we are actually talking about our own perception of light. Now, you might wonder, how does this process of color perception work? How do our eyes and brain translate light into the vivid world of color we see around us? Well, the secret lies in the back of our eyes on a thin layer called the retina. This retina is packed with millions of photoreceptor cells referred to as rods and cones. While rods help us see in dim light, cones are the true artists of our vision responsible for our perception of color. There are three types of cones, each sensitive to different wavelengths of light. Some cones get excited by short wavelengths, resulting in our perception of blue. Others respond to medium wavelengths, giving us green, and the rest are stirred by long wavelengths, creating the sensation of red. The magic happens when these cones work together. By responding to different wavelengths in varying degrees, they blend the primary colors to create the full spectrum we see. It's a fascinating system, isn't it? The combined responses of these tiny cones in our eyes create the rich tapestry of colors we perceive every day. We've covered a lot of ground today, haven't we? We've learned that color isn't inherent to objects, but rather a perception crafted by our eyes and brain interpreting diverse light wavelengths. Our retina's photoreceptor cells, the rods and cones, are significant players in this intricate process. So, the next time you marvel at a beautiful sunset or a colorful painting, remember the incredible science that allows you to experience that beauty. After all, the world is only as colorful as our eyes and brains perceive it to be.